Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nupula, and today we're doing episode two of a card review. Today's card is Grand Horn of Heaven. It is a counter trap, and it has the effect of during your opponent's main phase, when they would special summon a monsters and preposterous, which means that it could be it has to be multiple monsters for this scenario. Uh, negate the summon, and if you do destroy that monster, then your opponent draws one card, and then end the main phase. Few rulings you have to be aware of that I've checked with this card. One, Grand Horn of Heaven cannot stop an individual monster. It cannot stop anything that is a non-herited summoning. An inherited summoning is pretty much like Cyber Dragon. Um, well, Cyber Dragon is probably the greatest example of this. And anything that does not special summon as a resolve of a different effect. It has to be done on its own accord. Um, Soul Charge, Monster Reborn, stuff like that, Grand Horn of Heaven will not stop. Even if it was able to hit one monster, it cannot stop those. Uh, it will not stop um, Gores, even when he summons that token, because those are two different effects going off. The only thing this card really hits is the Pentium Monsters. But specifically, the Pentium summoning of those monsters, as long as it's two or more monsters on the field. And that is one of the reasons why I view this card. It's a decent card, but it's more of a side deck tech card. You won't see this in main decks unless they are really thinking that they're going to be dealing with Pentium Monsters, which right now will be Ignites. But even so, Ignites have ways of getting around this. But there's not much I can really say about this card. Um, it is a common card. It is not short printed. If you are interested in this card, it shouldn't be that expensive either. Just go to eBay or TCG Player or trade with someone. It's probably less than a dollar from my imagination. Um, I'm going to hopefully do more videos on these. And talk to you all later. Peace.